Good. And this thing is rusted. Let me see. Let's put on. Let's put on, guys. My gimbal. I misplaced my gimbal somehow. So I'm trying to use one of my older gimbals. And dang it. It's not letting me. Alright, I'm going to have to get with y'all here in just a bit. Let's see. No, man. So, I think we need some coffee. Did you have it yet? I haven't got my coffee yet. Okay. Did she have the baby yet? Oh no, no, no. So, um, she was supposed to go in. She was supposed to get a phone call at four for her to go in at four thirty. They already prepped her, told her not to eat anything, not drink anything after they ten o'clock called. or whatever. They never called. So she called about five or whatever, and they said, okay, well. There was, there's four, four women going in to, to labor today or in, getting induced or whatever. She's the last, it looks like she's the last one on the list. First one got delayed, so they pushed off the second and third, which pushed her off. And so now she's going to call back around 10 in the morning to find out to see what's going on. But yeah, it's going to be some, today sometime, we yeah. just don't know. So if it's, she called already, if it's, she's going to call at 10. It's the same yeah. thing with our first one they induced mm. we got there at 6 a.m they got her in bed about 6 30 they gave her the medicine to induce the labor yeah at 7 a.m she was in hard labor yeah until nine o'clock at night wow yeah. let me tell you also here she you was, might get that call today huh? she was not happy yeah and they'd already, the doctor came in already, and I was like, hey, you need to stop screaming. I know it hurts and everything. She looked at me, was, she looked at me and said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I said, okay, deuces. Right. I'm, I'm going to go get me some food. Right. Bye. All right. <laughs> All right. They started getting mad at me because I, I'd be in there for a while, and then she'd start, once she started, Acting, talking stupid to me, I was like, deuces, mm. I'll be back. Yeah. I, ain't, mm -mm. Yeah. I ain't staying here for that. Right. But yeah, it's it's about time to cut my hair. I think so, yeah. Uh, hey, there, just there, don't put it in a man bun. There, no, I ponytail in them. There was a, a spot over there by next to Rich's on Weber that if they cut your hair, they would donate the hair to cancer for kids and stuff. So that's be twelve inches. Yeah. So I might make it. Mm. Well, whenever I cut it, it's burning off. Well, then tell them to take it yeah. up as much as give up. Uh, but everything's coming off. Hopefully, within the next two weeks, I get that phone call. Hey, report to such and such unit there on such and such day. Sounds I'll good. be going. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. That's $3,500 extra dollars after taxes a month. Yes. Sweet. What's up, CJ? Roger. Jacob from Jacked Up Leatherworks. Uh, Brandon. How y'all doing, guys? Daniel, I know you're out there, Papa. How you doing? Let's see. Yep, so we are back. Nobody going to call me out on that. What's up, Toby? Edgar? How y'all doing? Yeah, just leave it on there for right now on one of those. We'll get to it. Right there. No big deal. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Say a little bit. Be careful. Later. Big man. Yes, sir. You have Albert, a good one, Carl. You have a good one, man. Yep. I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about our fishing trip yesterday. What yeah. we kind of noticed and didn't notice or whatever. And, uh, <laughs> I think mullet would have been, might have been 
something. Well, I had that mullet on there and that dang gaff top. Yeah, the gaff tore, <laughs> tore it up. I had like a good eight to ten inch mullet on there, and a big old gaff top just didn't hold it. So. Gap top was a good 24 plus inches. Mm -hmm. so, uh, we are here, guys. I'm. Yes, I need to get some coffee. I hate yawning. But very sad. And right now, I'm kind of without a gimbal, so. Uh, and we I don't... have no uh, creamer either. You want to make a run to Walmart real quick so we can get some? Um, that and get me one another one of those tripods because it'll have one of those gimbal deals in it, so I can. The big tripod. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't they sell the gimbal by itself? Um, uh, I don't know. I haven't been over there in a minute, so. I'll look. Thank you. Sorry guys, that's because I still went a bit early last night. I think I was in bed by 11, yeah, somewhere around there. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't do black coffee, guys. I gotta have some kind of... flavoring in there. <laughs> Yeah, but 75, you're all right, boss. You'll be all right. Y'all live through 100 mile per hour winds and stuff, so, but 75 is still not to be taken lightly. So, got prayers going out for you, Hyman, for sure. Sorry, Camilo, didn't mean to. Yeah, I know a lot of them are still in the recovery phase of that area, so yeah. Definitely, definitely is going to be something to be paying attention to and stuff like that. Um, a buddy of mine, Mr. Ron Gentry, is out there. He's been doing some relief work out there, too, so he says he probably won't be getting into like summertime back to Corpus and stuff, or back to Galveston, where he's from, so. And I don't know if y'all heard a little while ago, guys. Yes, my daughter was supposed to have induced labor. Um, wow, for that, man, that's still pretty huge of a surge. Um, I gotta ask, is it because y'all are still so waterlogged from the last hurricane that is going so high so fast? Or is it, is it really pulling in that much of a tidal surge on there? Wow, that's, that's huge. <laughs> Roger, I love the name change, man. Yes, sir. Got him. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. <laughs> yes, sir. That's pretty sweet. Like that. guys I am building the frameworks for quite a bit of surf weights that we got to pour out today and regular weights um, actually I'll show you all the orders that we got a lot of them are because we didn't finish them out last week so we have remaining orders um, this is what we still old Causeway Pier right there so you can see the uh, surf weights six ounce three thirty seconds 25 of those and pyramid one, two, and ten ounce, fifteen, twenty, and fifty pounds. So that's one. 
this one's for the bait bucket. They just placed this order yesterday, so you got two, three, four, and five, and six ounce surf weight. 40, 60, 60, 40, 40, you know? And then our bull red leaders, pumping old leaders with soft floats and stuff like that. And then we still have this order here for 48 outfitters that's remaining. Give me a second, guys. Hold on. Hello? Send me where it's supposed to be, but I'm gonna have to work really late tonight. Uh -huh. All right, guys, I gotta run. I gotta take my son to his doctor's appointment. So, uh, uh, well, expect me later on tonight. I will be doing our live drawing for then because I'm gonna have to make up for all the time that I am gone since I did take off yesterday. I gotta make up for today. Uh, yeah, this ain't gonna be fun. So, alright, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Sorry. <laughs>